Hello there, it is I, the Spiffy Eater of Worlds, and welcome to my fantabulous Terraria-themed YouTube channel. Today I must bring up the wonderful world of the Corruption Biome. As you may know, it is very spiffy, and has a massive amount of lore and unique items. So sit back, relax, enjoy a nice warm Yorkshire tea brew, and eat plenty of Corruption-themed biscuits. Enjoy the video, everyone. The Corruption is a purple planet-devouring hive mind that rots the soul of anyone that goes near it. It is usually considered the lesser biome when compared to the violence and bloody crimson, as people prefer the weapons and items even if they have been nerfed into the ground recently. And to any crimson enjoyers out there, I completely understand the allure of the colour red and a gore-themed biome. However, it can come across as a tad edgy. Don't get me wrong, it isn't bad in any capacity. I actually like it as much as the corruption, however I do hold mild disdain for the famous copycat, the Dapper Brain of Cthulhu, as he bashes me in his most recent video. Firstly, the corruption's colour scheme is amazingly drippy, as it generally looks better than the crimson. A huge factor that I would say makes the corruption better is the lack of these ugly spiders and these budget eater of souls. Don't get me wrong, it may be harder to traverse, but at least I don't get swarmed by spiders and chimeras when I'm trying to grind. Also, I prefer the mystical and magical feel that the orbs give off, compared to the death metal hearts. They make any edgelord laugh with joy. Also, don't get me wrong, guys. I do like one of the many crimson weapons. However, early game, the corruption generally has better items. Also, the crimson theme is so much worse than the drippy corruption and underground cor corruption theme. Secondly, after more recent updates, the Corruption has had a massive overhaul in weapon quality and design. Sure, if this was 1.3, I'd understand why people preferred the Crimson weapons, as back then, they were definitely better. However, in early 1.4 and late 1.3, Relogic decided to buff these weapons to make sure it was more fair and equal in a comparison. And come on, I know every British person loves the musket and the light spane to any of the weaker early game Crimson weapons. Now you may be thinking, aren't, we aren't Vampire Knives stronger than the Scourge? And my answer would be, no! Not only have they been nerfed to high hell, but the Scourge has also been buffed to an extent where it outperforms the Vampire Knives in any circumstance due to the projectile clingers being able to dupe themselves. And to be perfectly honest guys, I usually play on Master and Legendary mode, where the Vampire Knife's healing means squat to the bosses. Also, the Dart Rifle and Chain Knives are heavily underrated. Not only does the beautiful Dart Rifle do 2.5 times the amount of damage that th that his Crimson counterpart can do, but it also scales better with darts. And come on, the dual Chain Knives buff has made it insane for early hard mode melee users. Now, I-Court isn't bad to any extent, however most players only use it for debuffing the bosses, then they switch to better arrows. Sure, it lowers the enemy's defence, but a high armour penetration can also provide the same benefits, to a higher extent in some cases. Also, any item coated in i -Core, like arrows or bullets, generally deal less damage than the epic Cursed Flame variants, so they are pretty interchangeable in any circumstance anyway. Generally speaking, I always have people talking about the Crimson Armor's insane healing factor to compare why it's better than the Corruption Armor. However, they neglect to take into account that most new players, or any people in general, are melee users or rangers. Both of these classes benefit from the 50% increased movement speed and crit rate. The increased acceleration rate on top of that makes it much better. Not only that, but Shadow Armor also recolors your Spectre Boots Flight and Run to a subtle purple, which is enhanced by an afterimage look, showing the buff to a general speed boost. Also, Redigit never incorporated an Ancient Crimson Armor set due to its late introduction, further pushing my point, as you can farm Ancient Shadow Armor early and get all the same bonuses as Shadow Armor and Crimson Armor. Also, to be even more picky, I generally prefer the Eater of Worlds, as even though it's simple, the Brain of Cthulhu generally has lower stats and relies on minions, making the Crimson a, li a little bit more less challenging for me, as I play a lot of FromSoft games, which makes a lack of a challenge extremely boring. In conclusion, the Crimson is comparable to the weaker younger brother of the cooler and spiffy Corruption, as not only are they basically on par with each other, but the Corruption is just the right way to go. So if you enjoyed this video, please go subscribe to the Dapper Brain of Cthulhu, and also the Toxicarp. 
They are both spiffy. Also, join my Discord server and consider supporting me on Patreon. It would really help. Anyway, have a nice day. Like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you all later. Bye.